हेलो वे बैक मैं हूँ श्रुति विद माय सेकंड नेचर एंड विद मी अल्पा हेलो अल्पा हाउ आर यू यस शी इज माय फ्रेंड यस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हो रही है हमारी यहाँ पे बिकॉज क्लियरली दैट्स व्हाट शी डज बेस्ट सो फर्स्ट एपिसोड में वी हैड डिस्कस्ड energy leaks and uh, how can we recognize our energy and that time she had given us right at the end this one very beautiful tidbit about harry potter and different masks and if you are wondering what i'm talking about well it's linked right here you can click on it or actually right there and you can click on it and go to the previous episode and listen to it because it can be very beneficial in your transformational journey right here on my second nature so alpa today as you said that we are going to discuss masks so first let's get clarity on it because the moment you say masks i am thinking okay i need to be a different person with the various people in my life you know how yeah. i am with my parents or with my siblings or with my partner or with my like you know business associates or with mm-hmm. just everybody there will be a different me that will come out and i'm also comfortable with different friends or different uh you know my house help expects me to be in a certain way ab ye sare jo different tarike hain of me being are these the masks you are referring to or are we talking about some other metaphorical mask which we adorn so get us a little more you know give us a little more clarity about that yeah so shruti that's an amazing question and you know we often think like this that we have to be different people like i, I can't be the same with my child and my boss i have to be different right yeah but yeah. no these are not masks these are uh, we are a whole person and right. we are showing different aspects or different facets of our personalities correct in our different relationships right however you know that you are all of Yes. and you are secure in that knowing that you are all of this but you are offering yourself as required in your different relationships correct so you are choosing what to offer your child you are choosing what to offer your boss right right when you wear a mask what happens to be is you are feeling very inadequate inside hmm. you are feeling i am not good enough and so i need to be somebody else ah. in order to fulfill this relationship properly right right so i'm not showing a part of me what i'm doing is i'm putting up a facade that i am somebody else to get approval from that person whom i am talking to correct got it yes so i can act her and huh. actor is say karina kapoor but huh. she's playing geet in yeah. jabbi mein yeah now she is not geet She is wearing the mask of Geet, Correct. so that the audience will like her, right? Yeah, yeah. Ritu, Or a more go to Karina's, yeah. Practical example of how when we walk into a party and we'll always have that one person who is the jester of the party, who'll always be happy, who'll be choppy, who'll make you party, and then if you meet them in a different setting and they are being super serious, and you're like, hey, what happened to you? Yeah, why aren't you being happy? And the person's yeah. like, okay, I cannot be putting that mask on constantly of happiness, right? Okay, so good. So now we are on the same. Imagine page. how tiring it is, yeah. <laughs> you're an actor yes. that you have to act twenty four by seven. Yeah, yeah. It's draining. Yeah. So a a trick is, a hat is worn to enhance you. Hmm. A mask is worn to cover you up. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So it's like a masquerade, like a Correct. costume you're wearing. Correct. Whereas yeah. a hat is a stylish thing, right? It sits right. on your head and you're like strutting it about. Right. Right. But when you put on a mask, it's because you're not good enough, and you're covering yourself up, and that that's the mask I'm talking about. So, so how do mask we? Do that. Yeah. So how do we recognize these masks? Because many times we could be putting on a mask, but uh, we might not be aware of it. And how you had mentioned the first thing in the last episode that awareness is prime. Awareness is first. So how do we become aware? so every time you feel a sense of constriction hmm. so you to be aware for this right yeah. so when yeah. you feel that little hmm constriction is hmm. one clue that you are not being yourself because to switch from mask to mask there will be a transition and that transition is that constriction right so you are like you know like suddenly like uh, being different yeah another uh, key another clue is if by chance you say what you really mean hmm. if you are scared that you will lose that relationship it's a mask yeah 
Yeah. So if you say what you really feel, if you show up as who you are, hmm. so if you feel in your head, you know what? I just can't speak the truth because if I speak the truth, I've lost this deal. I've lost hmm. this person. Yeah. It's a mask. Right. Right. And instead of so, taking all the pressure, saying the person is wrong or they are, you know, they are incorrect, and oh, if I can't be me with them, then they are wrong. We need to acknowledge that. Okay, but why am I putting on that mask just to cater? And therefore, how should I come forth? Hmm. And you know, sometimes, Shruti, it's you would not even lose that person. Right. It is just your fear that you might lose that person where you don't put on, where you don't say what you feel. Correct. And I did this for many years as well. Right. So I didn't ask for what I wanted because I thought I'll never get it. Hmm. And then I blame those people for not giving me what I want. Right. That doesn't make sense, right? Right. Right. So the only way you'll know is by just showing up as yourself. Hmm. And the more you show up as yourself, the people who love you, they'll be your tribe. Yeah. And the ones who don't, they were worth losing. Correct. Correct. But practically, it's a difficult one to do. So step by step. you know if we break it down and we say okay, okay we we came into an awareness we realized that it was a mask that we were putting on and now yes the fear is there that what if i lose this person or what if i lose this job or relationship or just myself in the process because if i take this mask off and i'm not aware of who i am then how am i going to acknowledge who i am because i don't know myself without this mask say yeah. so when you begin firstly how do you take that mask off is there a way to do it is there a process that you follow and when we do take that mask off how should we delicately handle ourselves beautiful so many deep questions <laughs> sorry sorry but you're here to you answer know, so that's wonderful i'm here to answer <laughs> absolutely so you know this whole uh, there are two friends that you have in this whole journey one friend is self love hmm. without really holding space for yourself unconditionally you can't do any of this work yeah so first you have to be kind to yourself and say boss i might fail i might falter and it's okay i've got my back hmm matlab theek hai kuch aisa kuch bada nahi ho jayega agar maine main gira gira it's okay you know so hmm. this self love is something you need to have and it has to be unconditional right it cannot be like acha agar tumne ye kiya to i love you but tumne agar wo kiya to nahi chalega to aisa nahi hota it has to be unconditional ठीक है करेक्ट सो दैट्स वन सेकंड इज द विल पावर बिकॉज़ इट्स गोइंग टू गेट टफ दैट टेरेन इज अ रॉकी टेरेन राइट डू यू नो दैट करेक्ट सो योर विल पावर टू टू रियली बी योरसेल्फ टू गो थ्रू द वर्क दीस टू आर योर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस ट्रिप राइट सो यू टू मेक फ्रेंड्स विद दीस टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट ओके सो दैट दैट्स अ प्री रिक्विजिट लव योरसेल्फ एंड हैव द विल पावर या हाउ डू यू डू इट Every time, you, again, start with the small things. I always say that start with the small things. Right. Don't think. कल जाके मैं मतलब you know we always think या तो zero या hundred. हम लोग बीच में सोचते नहीं हैं. So either we are complete doormat or we are complete rebel. Yeah. Uh-huh. We don't we don't realize there is a line in the middle which yeah. can be balanced, right? Yeah. Yeah. So whenever you're taking small decisions, like for example that dinner. So what if you don't want to go? What we do is we make up this whole elaborate story. about how it pains us to be in a completely helpless situation and agar if we could have made it we would have made it yeah. had it not been for those 15 different things that happened yeah and you could have just simply said you know what dude i don't feel like hmm okay hmm par wo bolne ki jagah humne 15 aur cheezon ko kahani mein firo diya ye sab hua is yeah now have the courage to really say what you feel hmm and say you know what i don't feel like and say it in a way which is authentic hmm. so you don't have to say it in an angry way or an aggressive way or say you know you always force me to do stuff so don't yeah. blame the other person yeah yeah but just take ownership for your own decision like right. you know what i don't feel like it this right now hmm. are you okay with that like have that empathy for the other person that you know next time i promise i'll come with you but this time i'm not up to it correct and leave it at that Okay. so the smaller smaller decisions where you find yourself lying where you find yourself uh, just saying anything without anchoring in your truth right don't take that support hmm. because as long as you're on crutches shruti you can't get power in your legs hmm. and all these white lies that we say they are like crutches hmm. so you need to give up the crutches and then your legs will develop the power so start speaking the truth in your life Right. And how do you know the truth? Ask yourself. So 
So before if somebody calls and says something, don't just rush into an answer. Just take a pause. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a stimulus and we react. Yeah. So the key is to take a pause in the middle and say, okay, what do I really want to do? Close your eyes, check inside. You know, don't check outside, check inside. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What do I feel like doing? Do I want to go? Do I really want to have Chinese? Do I want to have this coffee really? Or can I just have a green tea right now? Like what I really want. Yeah. Ask yourself that question and then respond. Yeah. Okay, okay this is what I want. So that pause which you take and then also ask yourself, am I really wanting to be a mother because society wants me to be or do I really want to have a child? Even hmm. those questions. Hmm. Or, you know, do I really want to wear that sari or am I just wearing it because I'm expected to? Yeah, yeah. Now take that call and, you know, make that decision that, okay, I know I'm doing this because I'm expected to wear the sari, but you know what? I'm going to wear the best one I have and I'm going to have such a blast while I'm doing it. Hmm. And that could be a choice you make also. It's Hmm. all right. It's tough to ask yourself that question because, okay, so I'm going to give an example which happened to me. You're going to laugh because how silly it is. Because in my mid-20s, when I first time realized, ke, oh yeah, I should ask myself stuff, you know, I don't have to immediately react. Koi train nahi chhoot rahi hai. It's literally like that. Like, you know, you don't have to rush and do something. So one morning I woke up and I asked myself, okay, every day I drink tea. Kisi ne bola nahi hai, chai hi peeni hai. What do I feel like yeah. having? I was lost for 15 minutes. I was sitting there thinking, I don't feel like having chai, but I don't know what I want. So should I be having tea? And then I'm like, oh, but I'm getting late for work. Oh, I should leave or this. But no, what is it that do I want? So that day I didn't, I didn't do anything. So I told myself, it's okay. If you know, question yourself, not till you actually don't come up with that answer. You're not going to get your morning beverage. You have to figure out what is it that you truly want. This went on for the next three, four days. After three, four days, because every morning I would wake up and I'd be like, Chai you. Nahi, but what do I truly feel like? So uh, by the end of four days, I actually said, okay, just because I don't know what I want to have, I'm going to start experimenting and having one thing of every day. So I began with coffee. Then I began with coffee and cream. I began with, you know, whatever, green tea. I had many cold coffee, ye wo, came back to tea. Point of the story is one has to keep experimenting. And if you don't get an answer, don't rush into it thinking that you don't have time. Time is a created concept. So if you're questioning yourself and saying, I don't know, that's good. It's okay. Now, at least you're aware that you don't know. So wait to get an answer from self and then move forward. Right. I just wanted to put that. Movie. Which one? You go movie, yeah, the Runaway Bride. Yeah. Runaway Bride. Robert, Richard Gere. Huh. Yeah. So in that movie, she runs away from every wedding. Huh. And Richard gives you know, feature on her because she just can't figure out. Correct, she correct. can't say, I do. Correct. And then he goes and, inter- he goes and interviews all her ex fiancés And he figures that they each have a different perspective of her. Right. So one guy says she likes boiled eggs just like me. Hmm. The other one says she likes scrambled <laughs> eggs just like me. And yeah. all seven of them had something else. Correct. And before she said yes to Richard here, she actually sat and figured out what movie she likes. She had all the different varieties of eggs and she figured out which one she I remember really that scene. Yeah. So before you say I do, learn to say the I. Yeah. Who are you? Mm-hmm. What do you really want? And I love that example you gave. Should be very few have the courage to do it. So <laughs> very few have the courage to give up tea till they figure the answer <laughs> out. <laughs> Okay. So moving forward with this now. So you've, you've told us how to identify the mask. You've told us that when we figure the mask out, what is, what we need to ask ourselves now in your experience, what happens next? What do people go through? So people go through, uh, so I want to first just say a little bit about the kind of mask that we wear, you know, because sometimes it remains a little esoteric concept. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, so sometimes we we wear the mask of a good bahu or a good wife, mm. even though we're really unhappy. Mm. Or we wear the mask of an A-grade student who is completely put together when socially inside they are just craving for company. Yeah. Right? We wear all masks we put up. Or we put on yeah. the mask of a really hardworking employee because we actually need the money. Yeah. And we put in... Oh, so this recently I came across, we put on this mask of being extremely busy <laughs> so that we don't have to face the truth about our life. Interesting. Yeah. So we, 
you say oh i'm so busy i have no time for that shit ha so you are actually just avoiding facing the truth that the world around you is crumbling inside but you're like mm. super busy you don't have the time so this right. is also a mask you're wearing right right, right. you're wearing the mask of a really cool person because you grew up in a very small town and this is your only identity now to make you feel as if you're cool yeah, yeah. but deep down you're already that dehati who loves those jokes which are dehati mm. but you mm-hmm. changed your personality because you thought I'll be anything else but that right Right. So it what what happens when you do all this is you get fragmented like those hot cruxes I was talking mm. about. Like in, when he split his soul into seven, he, he weakens. Yeah. So your whole system weakens when you split up. Right. So this whole process of throwing away the mask is an act of integration. Hmm. So you're literally putting all the hot cruxes back again into one life. Hmm. so that you feel alive you know you're not like dead in seven Correct. places you're Correct. alive in one place Correct. and that's the best metaphor i can give you for uh, integrating back into ourselves right so those are some types of masks now what happens when you realize that you are wearing masks is you feel a little unsettled because you're like you really get this is a thing in your stomach because you're not sure how it will play out when you start speaking the truth of your life right and a lot of people at that stage also they give up they like ye humse nahi ho payega humse na ho payegi ye nahi hoga but the some people who do it they realize it was not as bad as they thought hmm. and all that fear which they had built up in their head ki log aise kahenge log waise kahenge wo sab hota nahi hai right it was right. all in their head hmm. you know hmm. and then they realize oh that was not so bad and then they can do it again and again speak their truth and then again they realize oh that was not so bad mm. and every time you do that every time you speak your truth and don't give in to that mask you literally rush energy back into yourself mm. because it's that power you had given away to that person now by speaking your truth you have claimed it back correct and it makes you stronger it makes you more fulfilled it makes you more confident it makes you more magnetic hmm. you know when you are yourself something magical happens with you you know yeah. then people start coming to you opportunities start coming to you people start loving you for who you are and you are like i was hiding this because i thought people won't like me like correct you are correct. you know correct so uh, initially it's a little uncomfortable but after that it is just magical it's There's a thing I read somewhere, you know, that when you stop worrying about what people think, you have reached a dangerous level of freedom. <laughs> yes, that I you know, absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. So while it is a little like, you know, it it feels like your whole world is shattered, but that's only for a very small bit because once you do climb that. hill which is actually a mole hill it's not even a really big hill once you go past it you realize hey this is so much better so everyone who is feeling stuck right now come on this side and in case you're wondering how call alpa yeah <laughs> message her mail her dm ke andar question likho dalo uh, instagram pe or if you feel uh, you can just leave a comment right here and we'll try and get to your comments as soon as possible so great well, actually i uh, i have a free course Okay, I have created on hats and masks. Oh, I'm really? happy to offer it to anybody who wants to DM me. I'll send them the link to the course. How wonderful! <laughs> yes, absolutely. This so, sounds great. This sounds great. Okay, so now, what are the parting words for today's episode uh, about this? You know, removing the mask but adorning the hat. What is the final word for it? So the final word for that is uh, wearing a hat is stylish. and wearing a mask is draining a hat is an accessory a mask is a costume a hat is worn with pride and a mask is worn to cover the real thing yeah so that is about hats and masks hmm. but as you reconnect with yourself in the mirror yourself is waiting for you to love yourself hmm. and as you nurture yourself with trust self care and attention you'll become happier it will start feeling like heaven Hmm. so you have to learn to become who you really are to claim all parts of yourself to become your own shining star so wear that hat with elegance and grace but never ever again put a mask on your face 
Oh, how lovely. Seems like you were reading a poem out. Is this a poem that you've written? Oh, how yeah. wonderful. That sounds lovely. Are wah, isi note pe. We are going to see you the next time with something new that Alpa is going to throw our way and we're going to discuss. But until then, thank you for being part of My Second Nature for this month where we are discussing how to rewrite our transformation, right? How to rewrite ourselves. Thank you so much. Take care. We're going to see you the next time. Bye.